that is uh, kq1 q2 over r squared tapos um, q1 and q2 are the charges then epsilon naught is the value given there okay na yan, just um, some of the notation ulit pag sinabi f1 2 force on 1 by 2 and f2 1 force on 2 by charge 1 okay Ayan, as seen here, uh, yung mga alike charges, they repel, and yung mga opposite charges, they attract. Then yung mga steps natin, first, determine where the force is acting on the charge, then calculate the components, then lastly, take the resultant force, yung magnitude and yung kanang direction. Now, for electric field naman, um, na-discuss natin kapag uh, positive test charge, and negative yung negative yung point charge and uh, nag uh, papunta doon yung electric field and pag same charges naman sila ayun they repel also okay then uh, the electric field is defined as uh, force exerted over a test charge q uh, e equals f over q then from here f equals q e then um electric field acting on a test charge by a point charge q is kq over r squared no um, where Q is the, ito, ito yung charge, point charge na sinastudy natin, okay? Then, epsilon naught is still the same. And lastly, electric field, yung mga steps natin, uh, first of all, determine kung, uh, ganun din parang sa electric force, uh, determine where the field is acting towards. Number two, calculate the components of the force. And number three, take the resultant field, magnitude and direction. Now, for potential difference now or voltage, um, tandaan natin na ang work done to move the particle from, from one region to another in a uniform electric field is work equals to negative, delta, negative Q delta V. Dito, ina-account na yung, um, ina na yung charge. No? I mean, yung sign ng charge, ina-account na dito sa electric potential. Then, um, then V equals to ED. Okay? Tapos, um, pag naman in terms of point charge, KQ over R. Okay? Then, ayan. Then, ayan, uh, steps to take the total electric potential, uh, simply add the potentials of each particle. You know? uh, we'll see more in the problem set. Tapos, if you need the recap, ito. Nandito na siya sa group chat niyo. If you need the formula, sige na. Okay? Sige, tara, let's start. Dito sa, ano natin, let's start dito sa um, problem set natin. Sige, so, okay, let's start sa mga conceptual muna kasi it's always important. So, number one, uh, ayan, tingin nyo, which, ano, which has a larger magnitude? Uh, they have the same magnitude. They have the same magnitude, tama. Kasi, by Newton's third law, um, uh, a force, uh, teka na, ano natin? Newton's third law. Sorry, I don't memorize the exact wording, ano? Um, uh, for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. So, if object A, if itong charge exerts a uh, force on the other charge, the other charge would also exert the same magnitude of force. Okay? Sige. Sige. Number two. Uh, dalaway sagot sa number two. Ngayon, in which situations kaya, kapag dilagay natin sa left, nung uh, left of the particles, uh, the electron will be in equilibrium. Meaning, yung sum of forces zero. Saan kaya? Anong situations? A and B. Tama, A and B. Kasi, if we, if uh, we look at it, um, tignan natin, na, let's just examine. Um, itong, uh, ito, itong C and D kasi, kung titignan natin, ang lapit masyado nito, 
yung malakas to charge. So, in an essence, if you think about it, if we move, if you put it to the left, it would never balance out, di ba? Hindi ka tulad dito, uh, malayo yung, hindi ka tulad sa A and B, malayo yung, uh, malayo yung malakas na charge from the electron. So, um, the distance would cover for, ano, the distance would cover for uh, the, the large magnitude of electric force exerted by this. The same for B. Okay, good job. Sige, itong number 3. Uh, negative uh, or neutral or neutral tama kasi um, if you remember our if you remember our um, asa na nga ba yun? if you remember our electroscope dito see um, as long as as long as uh, pag neutral kahit anong charge man yan it would be attracted to each other kasi um, elect kung um, elect kung negative yun nilapit natin charge uh, lalayo lang yung lalayo lang yung negative charges okay from the from the top of the ball pag naman positive charge lalapit lang yung mga electron doon and there you go and syempre opposite sa track kaya pwede rin yung neutral good job teka lang ha i-highlight ko lang Na, Nag-gets ba ng iba? Gets naman? Kung bakit negative or neutral? Nag-gets naman? Nag-gets naman ng iba? Okay. Sige. Um, sige, number four. What do you think? I'll just draw the figure para makita natin, no? Uh, for identical point charges. So, doesn't matter kung kung anumang kung anumang uh, anumang klaseng charge yun. Pero, sige, I'll just draw the situation. Why do you think of the answer, no? Sige, go, go. Let's see. Lakihan ko na nga para makita. Ay, wait lang. Ayusin ko nga yung send resolution ko. Um, video. Okay, sige. I'll just draw the situation here. So, ang tinatanong, ano yung electric field and potential dito sa gitna? Uh, parang ganito. Okay. Sige. Um, any guess or any answer? Uh, zero po ba yung electric field? Uh, yes, zero yung electric field. Wait lang. Ano yung sagot ni... Uh, ano yung sagot ni... Sige, nagsalita. Sorry. C po ba? C... No, no, no. Hindi eh. Pero sige. Um, tama si Mo. Um, zero yung electric field. Eh, voltage kaya. Zero? Hindi. Uh, I'll explain ha. Sige, teka. Let's, let's look at the diagram dito. Okay. So, sabi na, let's look at the electric field muna. So, doesn't, kasi nga point charge na identical, no? So, it doesn't matter kung anong charge nila. Pero sige, for the sake of demonstration, sabi natin positive ito. Ano? So, um, at the center, kung titignan natin, if, the, if we take the electric field due to this, pag, pa dito siya, 
if you take the electric field due to this, pa dito siya. If you take the electric field for, for, due to this, I sorry, tapos na pala yan. If you take the electric field due to this, it's going here. If you take the electric field from here, it's going here. So, um, if you see, they would cancel out each other. Bakit? Kasi equal yung length nito or magnitude nito, no? And opposite sila yung direction. Bakit equal? Kasi equal yung charge. Then, uh, nasa center yung, ano, nasa center yung location natin. So, kapag nasa center yung location natin, edi equal lang yung radius ng bawat isa. So, yung mga kq over r squared of each of these, pare-pareho lang. And dahil magka-opposite sila, magka-cancel out lang. Eh, how about yung voltage? Ano nga sabi ko sa voltage kanina? Ang voltage, um, we just add up yung voltage, di ba? Voltage ng bawat isa. You know, if we, uh, if we add the voltage of each of the particles, then we take, we get the voltage of the whole thing, no? So, bali, apat na kq over r lang yan, no? So, in short, nag-cancel out ba yung voltage or hindi? Hindi. In fact, meron siya four times na kung ano man to. Okay? So, um, gets naman. So, ang sagot dapat, letter B, um, E equals zero, V equals, not equal to zero. Gets naman, guys. Yes, sir. Pero, sir, ano po yung K dun sa K times Q R? Ah, okay. Um, eto, sige. Uh, ang K natin ulit, uh, balik tayo, ha. Ang K natin is always uh, 9 times um, 10 to the 9th. Okay? Um, kahit saan yan, sa Coulomb's law, sa electric field, or sa electric potential. Ayan, 9 times 10 to the 9th. Okay? Okay? Sige. Okay na mo? Apo, sir. Sige. Thank you. Okay, sige. Um, okay, sige. Uh, ito. Um, sa, ito pala, sa, uh, sa, sa lesson natin ngayon, um, it's always important to, ano, to try to draw and visualize the figure, no? Kasi if, um, it's, I mean, it's the only easy way to answer these kinds of uh, problems, ano? Kahit na hindi tayo mag-compute, we can imagine what's happening or going on. No? Sige, let's try number five. I'll just draw the figure. Well, ano, ha? Huh? Number five tayo. What do you think? <laughs> Sir, A ko ba? Based on the previous problem. Yes. Tama. A tayo, no? Same, ano lang, same situation. So, sige, ah. Let's take a look at the... Let's take a look at the, ano? Ito, sige. Para makita natin kung bakit talaga. I'll show you kung bakit, no? So, let's try to, ano? Let's try to calculate your electric field muna, no? So, ano ulit yung first step ko? Um you check the direction of the field, no? So, electric field due to this is here, E1. Electric field due to this is here, E2. Tama? Okay. Sige. Um, ngayon, um, next is to uh, get the components, pero X component lang. So, let's go. Let's disregard the signs, no? So, total electric field equals E2 
Yan lang, dahil opposite yung E1, minus E1. Ito, E2 is KQ over R over 2 squared. Then, ito, ganun din. Minus KQ over R over 2 squared. So, if we see 0, it cancels out. So, yun ang ibig sabihin ko. Diba? If we look at the figure din naman, dahil nasa gitna siya, magka-cancel out siya. Diba? Kasi equal yung magnitudes, no? Yan. Tapos, let's, let's compute the potential. Sige, let's compute the potential. V, dahil identical positive charge, sige, let's, ano, equals to, dating ito yung Q1, ay, ito yung Q2, ito yung Q1. Diba? Sabi ko kanina. Then, itong V is just KQ1 over R. Ay, sorry. Itong V is just um, V1 plus V2. Itong V1 is KQ1 over R over 2. Then, yung isa natin is KQ2 over R over 2. Ayan. Did you get it naman? So, see, if you see here, um, may ano lang, uh, it's not, it's not zero, di ba? And as we see, the potential is positive. Kasi, positive yung magnitude, yung positive yung charges natin. Okay? You get it naman, guys? Yes, sir. Pero, sir, pag uh, opposite po yung charges, nagka-cancel ba yung potential? Yes, kasi, o oh, sige, ha? Uh, let's say, ano, let's say, sige, let's, ano, let's change the situation. Sige, sige. Sabihin natin, ano, sabihin natin yung isa, uh, negative, positive. Tapos yung, yung charge nila is, sige, let's change the situation. Para lang, we're clear. Uh, sabihin natin yung isa, um, negative Q, yung isa, positive Q. Okay, sige, sige, wait lang, ha? Um, sige, same problem, no? Uh, what can we say about electric field and electric potential sa gitna? R over 2, no? Sige. Okay, sige. Electric field. Sa electric field? O sige. Electric field due to negative is here. Electric field. Ay, sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Electric field due to the negative charge is here. Kasi it attracts, no? Tapos, uh, electric field due to the positive is also here. Ayan, nakuha. Tama, di ba? So, ngayon, let's, ano, let's determine the total electric field. Uh, let's ano, look at the components and disregard the sign first. Dahil nasa pareho negative sila, di ba? E1, E2. So, negative E1 minus E2. Which is equal to negative KQ over R over 2 squared minus KQ over R over 2 squared. Ayan. So, kita natin na uh, the, the electric field is uh, quote-unquote negative, ano? Or in the direction of the negative x-axis. Okay? Tapos sa potential naman, we don't care about the direction, no? So, um, pag negative yung isa, so, V1 plus V2, di ba? Dahil we don't, we account the charges na Negative KQ over R over 2 plus KQ over R over 2. So, if we see, we cancel. Ayan. Ayan, do you see? Okay na? Ah, uh, sige, sir. Okay, yeah, ayan. So, that's the, that's how we do it, no? And uh, kahit di na natin gawin yun, malalaman natin agad if we just uh, draw yung diagram. Okay, sige. Now, let's continue. Ayan. Um, sige, for question 6 and 7, consider the following situation. Sige, let's try. If um, you can't imagine the situation pala, sige, let me draw para lang makita nyo. Pero sige, yan. Just read it there muna. Uh, pero sige, I'll draw the situation. Sige, um, the proton is released from here, the electron is released from here. Okay, sige. Uh, ito yung drawing niya, no? 
So, there we go. Ayan, yan, yan. So, ayan. Um, sige, number six, no? Which feels the stronger electric force? Take note na they interact with each other, no? Okay, yun lang. <laughs> And pareho sila na... Sorry, ano? Letter E. Ayan, tama. Letter E. That's correct. Tama yan, tama yan. So, una-una, by Newton's third law, yes, ganon. And next is... Um, teka lang, eh. Teka lang, teka lang. Okay. So, um, tanda natin na opposite yung opposite yung force nila, no? Kasi, uh, they attract each other. Yan. Yan. And the uh, field due to the, ay, the force due to the electric field also brings them there, no? And pareho lang na magnitude yun. Kasi isa na ginagalawan nilang electric field. And next is, um, ito, by Newton's third law, dapat pareho lang yung magnitude ng force nila. Okay, sige. Let's go. Um, ito, number seven. Tingin nyo, pag daw nag-strike na yung plate sa opposite, there, sa opposite nilang ano, ano kaya mangyayari sa kinetic energy? Ba? Okay, sige. Um, hindi eh, hindi si Sige. Um, okay, sige, sige. Um, ano ulit ang formula ng kinetic energy natin? One half and this squared. Okay, sige. Or sir, kahit iba yung masses nila. Iba, iba din yung kanilang kinetic energy. Hindi, pero... Ito, ha? Teka, teka, teka. Sandali lang. I'll, I'll check the... I'll check the reference, ha? Pero kasi, ang... I mean, if ako sasagot nyo, ha? Um, ang sagot natin dyan is yung proton. Kasi, obviously, one half mv squared, ano? Um, one half mv squared. So... Obviously, si proton yung mas mabigat, di ba? So, siya yung magiging ng, elect- ng kinetic energy. Kaya lang, hindi tayo sure kung pareho yung speed nila, no? Pag, ano, pag, pag, pagdating sa opposite na, pagdating sa opposite na, ano niya? So, yeah, let's see, let's see, ah. Uh. I'll just take, uh, I'll just look at the reference. Okay, sige, ganito na lang. Um, I'll, I'll get back to this question mamaya, no? When we answer the longer problems, no? Sige, sige. I'll, let's just get back to this, ha? Okay? Sige. Ano, okay lang? Let's just go back to it later. Sige, sir. Okay, sige. Ito, number eight kaya. Ayan. Uh, more application, no? Sige. Uh, D yes, correct. It's D. Teka, I'll just draw the figure, ah. Para lang we can see. Teka, teka. Ay, 
Ay, sorry. Teka, ha? Plus Q. Plus Q. Sige. Ngayon, let's ano, let's analyze ulit. Using our technique kanina, yun. Tritignan lang natin kung saan sila, no? Sige, let's see. Ito yung point natin, no? So, ang electric field, sabihin natin ito ay Q1, Q2, Q3. Ang electric field due to Q1 ay ipapunta dito, no? Tapos, ang electric field due to Q3 ay ipapunta dito. Take note na, they have the same magnitude. Yeah, they have the same magnitude. Kasi, um, parehong positive charge, no? Eh, ito. Let's take note the size of the arrows, ha? Kasi, um, para mas madali natin makita. Itong negative Q. Ayan, same sila ng charge. Kaya lang, pansin natin. Mas malayo, di ba? Right? Right? So, kung titignan natin yung electric field niya, mga ganito lang siguro siya. Right? Ngayon, 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 um, pagsamahin natin itong dalawang electric field na to. Okay? Pagsamahin natin yung dalawang electric field na yan. Ang mga ganito siya. Right? Mga ganyan siya. Ngayon, compare nyo. Ano yung mas malaking arrow? Ito, ito. Itong, ano, di ba? Yung kulay red, di ba? Alright, right? So, if we add, if we add yung electric field natin, saan siya pupunta? Kasi mas dominant to. Mas mahaba kasi ito eh. Mas dominant yan. Eh di dito siya pupunta. Tama? Gigit, gigit na ba, guys? Kaya ang sagot dapat. Yes, sir. Kaya ang sagot dapat, letter D, no? Ayan. Gets, gets, gets. Yes, sir. Okay, sige. Um, teka, let me mark the answer, no? Hmm. Okay, ito number nine. Let's see. Sure, magiging negative ba yun? Um, let's see ah. Sagot ko kasi positive. Pero wait, let's see. If a negatively charged rod is brought near the sphere and at the same time, sphere A is moved away. What would be charged on B? Okay, sige. By the way... Listen. Ay, sorry. Teka lang. By the way, Metallic yung sphere, ah. Yun pala. Nanimutan kong sabihin siguro. Okay, sige, go. Uh, what were you going to say, Mo? So, sir, yung nilapit yung rod, magkadikit pa yung A at B. Ah, yes, yes. Hindi yes. pa sila. Ah. So, dapat pupunta yung negative charges sa B. Kasi, negative yung rod. So, lalo yung... Ah... Uh, Ito ha? O, paano ba? Okay, sige, sige. Nag-doubt tuloy ako sa sagot ko. Sige, balikan ko rin to. Sorry ha. Okay, balikan ko ulit. Balikan natin to ulit. Sige, sige. Sorry, sorry. Okay, okay. Pero, sige, sige. Balikan ko na na. Okay, number 10. Ito.
uh, Asian. Yes, tama. Kasi, if we, if we, teka lang ha, pero tama, tama. Wait, wait, wait. Inaayos ko yung solution na isa-scan ko man niya. Okay, sige. Ngayon, let's, let's draw yung, ano, let's draw yung diagram ulit. Um, Okay, see, let's see, ah. So, ito yung diagram natin. Q1 and Q2. Q1 equals negative point 10. And Q2 equals Q2. positive point 10. Then, x equals 0, no? x equals 0, ito. Ito, x equals 1. Pero, negative to positive. Obviously, ang um, force on 1 due to 2 is um, go, going to the right. Attractive, no? To the right. Okay, sige. Yan, that's letter A. Okay, sige. Ngayon, um, let's go to the problem solving. Sige. Pero, skip mo natin number one. Let's go with, ano, let's go with, let's go with number two. Mga short answer, no? Sige. Um, I'll give you, ano, siguro? Teka, what? Ilang, ano, ilang minutes ba tayo? 30 minutes. Sige, I'll give you, ano, I'll give you 10 minutes for this, no? Um, ano, you can use your, use your calculator, no? Okay lang yun. Lalo na sa, Eh, dito na pala tayo sa uh, problem solving part, no? Uh, ito yung mas important na part for today. Kasi um, based sa huli nating ano, last week, medyo nahirapan tayo, no? Sige, um, let's start with number 2 muna. Yung mga short answers, no? Okay. Ayan. I'll give you, ano? I'll give you... I'll give you 10 minutes. Kaya ba yun? Sige, let's try 10 minutes, no? Then, uh, we'll discuss after. 10 to 15 minutes, then we'll discuss after. Ayan, A to E. Pag meron kayong question, i-drop ba nyo nang sa, i-drop ba nyo nang sa group chat natin, no? Ito yung, ito yung pinaka-important na maraman natin. And you have the list of formulas review. I give it to you naman. Sige.
Okay. Ayan, guys. Um, sige, mamaya na natin discuss. Pero, na-clarify ko na yung mga multiple choice natin. <laughs> Okay, mali. Okay. Kukunin ko na yung calculator ko guys. Ha?
<clears throat> okay, I'm back. Okay, go lang. Kumusta guys? Ah, uh, ay naman sir. Okay, sige. Pwede mag-carry you at um, utilize the ano, utilize niyo yung solve function nito. Super useful siya dito sa mga problems natin dito. Sige, by ano, by by sige, by 3:15 um I want you to ano, I want you to send whatever progress you have, you know? Sige. Naturo na ba sa inyo kung paano gumamit ng solve function sa class or hindi pa? Um, hindi pa sir, pero alam na ng iba pa. Ay talaga? Oh my, sige. Sige, may adaan na natin ng konti. Kasi sa... Ano oh, talaga? Oh, hindi pa lang dito napagamit sa... Sama naman nila. Tapos <laughs> narinong kayo niyan. Sige, mamaya. We'll, we'll go over. Kasi sa next lesson natin sa chem, which is uh, chemical equilibrium sa Friday, it is very important. Yung solve function.
Okay guys Sige, can you, ano, can you show me whatever you have? It's okay, kahit konti lang, it's okay. Uh, show me whatever you have. Send nyo sa GC. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Okay. Wow. Teka, I'm looking at most. Siya yung unang nakita eh. Okay. All good. Good job. Good job, good job. Um, mo no, double check mo yung exponent mo sa letter D. Baka negative 16 dapat. Siguro na lito ka sa charge ng electron. Okay. Mm, that's good, that's good. Teka, let's see, ha? Sige, sige, wait lang. Give me two minutes. Ayun, yung iba, go. Send lang whatever you have. Tapos kung, ayan, um, na-check ko na yung work nyo. Sige, you can proceed. It's fine. If you want to answer more. One for two words. Teka, let's see, ha? One... One over two times. Teka lang. Sige, kahit two minutes break ko lang. Times 36 times 10 to the... Okay. Sige, sige. Teka na, ha? Go, go. Take, take a break. Try to minutes. Okay, okay. Tatype ko na lang. Um, Paano yun? Sige. Square root na. hundred newtons. Okay. Sige. Mm. 0.93. Okay. Yung mga sumagot ng letter D, sa letter D, ano yung direction? Kasi magnitude and direction of the electric force eh. Ano yun? Ano yung direction? Yun na lang. Paki dagdag na lang. Okay, sige. Yung mga sumagot ng... Let's start with letter A, ah. Yung mga sumagot ng 1.2 volts. Ano yung mass na ginamit nyo ng electron? O, oh, pati rin sa letter C, yung mga sumagot, ano yung, ano yung magnitude ng direction? Ano, ano yung direction? Okay? Sige, I'll just type. For, for C and D, what are your directions? Tapos, for those who answered 1.2 volts, what mass of electron did you use? Sige, I'll start discussing in, ano,
Okay, yan. Okay, there. Yan, yan, yan. To, correct. And so for those sa uh, Sige, let's start discussing. Um, ako, ay, uh, 180 plus 30, 210, no? 210. Sige, tara, let's start. Um, okay, for, for letter A, Kasi yun, if you, if you want to answer while, ano, it's fine. Sige. Okay lang naman yun. Um, sige, for letter A, I'm going to use the board. Then we'll move to the more important part. Oh, sige. For letter A, um, diba, we have yung, ano ng, cube delta V equals, to potential energy, di ba? Eh, by conservation of energy, but equal yan sa kinetic energy, no? So, we just uh, solve. Where Q equals 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19, and Me equals to 9.11 times 10 to the negative 31. You should get around 1.024 volts or in short, 1 volt. No? Okay, yan. I think almost all of you got it naman. Ingat lang sa mass next time. Okay, sige. For letter B naman, uh, two point charges. Ayan. Um, sige, let's see. Um, for letter B, um, ito, for letter B, um, two point charges, no? Um, X, Q1, and Q2, Q2 is this. Forty-five microcoulomb, no? So let's start with the steps. First of all, determine yung direction ng ano? Determine yung direction ng determine yung direction ng uh, ano tawag dito? Ng electric field. Okay. So Q to Q one, uh, dito siya. Ay yan E one. Ito's ito. Q to E2. Kasi, um, opposite, no? So, ngayon, uh, step 2, determine yung electric field, disregard your signs. E1 minus E2. So, E1 is um, K times 32 microcoulombs over X squared minus K times 45 microcoulombs over x plus 0.12 squared. Dahil in equilibrium siya, ay uh, zero electric field, dapat equal to zero. Okay. Sige, let's have, uh, let's have a short walkthrough ng solve function. Ito, pwede na ito isolve function. Kaya lang matagal. Pero it's fine. At least gagana, no? So, uh, ewan ko kung nakikita nyo. Uh, yan. Um, set Ay, sorry, hindi, hindi. Um, ayan, type nyo lang yung equation nyo mismo. So, 9 times 10 to the 9 times 32 times 10 to the negative 6 over x squared minus 9 times 10 to the 9 times 45 times 10 to the negative 6 over x plus 0.12 squared. Tapos, ligyan natin ng equal to 0. Ayan, parang ganto hindi nyo lalabas. Ayan, parang ganyan, no? So, solve natin. Solve. Tay natin. Tagal to. Let's wait for one minute, siguro. O, continue. Kasi, pangit pa yan, eh. Okay. 
Uchi ah. <laughs> Shucks. No, no, wala yung ginawa ko. Okay. Um, sige, sige. Let's simplify, ano, let's simplify it ng konti. Para hindi tayo mahirapan mag-solve function. Kasi matagal sa calculator yan eh. Ang gawin natin, diba yan? Um, lipat ko sa kabila side yung isa. Tapos, papansin natin, cancel, then wala na yung microcoulomb, no? So, bali, 32 over x squared equals 45 times x plus 0.12 squared, no? 45 over x plus 0.12 squared. Yan yung pasok niya sa solve function. Parang mas mabilis siya mag-solve. Kasi ayaw ng solve function na ano eh, yung may expression sa denominator. Try natin, no? Sige. Yan yung turo sa amin ng Ma'am Sandra sa ADCHEM. Nag-ADCHEM ako sa grade 10. Teka. Ayan. See? O. Oh. After pressing equals ng paulit-ulit, I got this. 0.65. Sigurado kang tama yung ginagawa mo. Pag yung L minus R mo, zero na. Ayan na. See? Kita ba? Zero. Ito zero. Ayan. Ayan. So, from here, we find na equal sa ano? Equal sa equal sa 0.65 cm. No? From the from the left. I'll just take a picture, no? Para makita nyo how it looks like. Tara lang guys, ha? Ayan. Um, let me just send you the picture. Simplify nyo. Pag nyo sa solve function kayo, try nyo simplify into something like this. No? Um, ayan. Try nyo simplify to something like that. Tsaka kayo mag-solve function. Okay? Sige. Ngayon, sa letter C, dapat, okay, letter C. Let's go. Let's make it a bit faster. Um, for letter C, sige. I think most of you got it naman. Okay. So, didiretso ko na siya. Um, for letter C, ganito siya. Um, plus 17 microcoulombs plus 17 plus 17 Q1, Q2, Q3. Actually, if um, biblisan natin to, may shortcut to eh. Kaya nang... Teka lang eh. Wait lang, let me try something. Never mind. Okay, sige. Let's go. Um, sige, ganito. Um, ito, di ba? Ito na yung ano natin. So, uh, okay. I think that gets, you get the hang of it naman. Ito, F uh, 2 by 3. And this one is F 2 by 1. Tama. Okay. So, um, X component. F to 1x negative minus F to 3x. So, kapag simplify natin, we should get negative 173.4. Mm -hmm. 
Hindi ko na siya show yan, ha? I think, I think most of you got it naman. Tapos yung Y component naman natin, dapat, ito lang. No? Uh, F2, 3Y. Negative din. So, we'll get um, negative 100.11. Tapos pag um, kinuha natin yung resultant, square root ng Fx squared plus Fy squared equals something to 200 newtons. No? Nakuha ba yun? Yes. Okay, sige. Tapos yung tangent, well, may shortcut yan kasi parehong, ay by the way, 60 degrees to, no? So yung theta natin na ginagamit for the components is also 60 degrees, no? Uh, for tangent, um, ngayon, let's create the direction y over x, ano, 30 degrees siya, di ba? Pero 30 degrees siya here, from here, from the negative x axis, pa baba. Or in other words, 210, paikot. Um, okay, may technique to, pero sige, dahil lang to, dahil equal yung force, yung resultant force niya nasa gitna, nasa, nasa exactly 30 degrees. Kasi 60 degrees yung buka na yun, ba? Yung resultant force na nasa 30 degrees dapat. Okay, sige. For letter D, determine the magnitude and direction of the electric force on an electron sa uniform electric field. So let's draw the... Let's draw the diagram. Ito. Ay, sorry. Mali, mali. Um, okay. Ayan na, take note. Electric field that points due east. Ano yung sabihin nun? Ito yung positive plate. Ito yung negative plate. Okay, gets ba yun, guys? Ganun dapat yung plate, ha? Nag-gets yun? Okay. Kasi from positive to negative ang flow ng electric field. 2,460. Ang force equals to QE. So, multiply lang. Kasi magditude lang naman. 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 times 2,460. You'll get something around... 3.94 times 10 to the negative 16. Kaya lang, ano yung force? Dahil electron siya, papunta siya sa, kan sa kaliwa, to the, to the positive side. No? Ayan. Okay. Nag-gets ba? Nag-gets ba, guys? Okay, sige. So, lastly, for our final item, this is the same as yung number 2 natin, no? Um, dahil electric potential naman, pwede na natin siyang diretsuhin. So, bale, it's just, we just, ano, um, put the solve function in this equation. K times Q1 over R plus K times Q2 over R, no? So, dahil 4 cm apart sila, so, sabi natin yung isa, Ayan, 3 coulombs over R minus, kasi negative yung 2 coulombs, no? K times 2.0 micro coulombs over 4 minus R, 0 0.04 minus R. Kasi 4 cm apart sila, so yung isa, 0 0.04 minus R equals to 0. Then, iayusin ko lang na konti. Cancel yung mga microcoulomb. Then, kapag sinol function natin to, dapat natin makuha ay R equals 0 0.024 meters or 2.4 cm. So, kapag pag, ano natin, we look at the question, at what point along the x-axis is the electric potential zero? Um, so, sabi natin, 2.4 cm away from 3.0 microcoulomb charge. Nag-gets ba, guys? Okay. 
Professor. Okay, sige. Um, sige, let's try ano. Um, kasi sige, let's let's do yung isang problem mamaya. Um, okay, sige. Ito na minutes lang ba tayo? 30 minutes. Sige. Kasi important na ma-discuss sa inyo ay yung kinematics sa electric field. Nasa part ng lesson nyo yun eh. Uh, motion in a uniform electric field. So, sige. Let's, ano nga? Sige. I want, I'm interested. Um, let's try, ano? Try nyo yung number 3B. Teka. Number 3B. Yan. Try nyo yung number 3B. Sige, let's just, let's, let's, ano, let's discuss a bit. Sige. Um, okay, okay. Sige nga, can someone, ano, can someone tell me, can someone tell me kung ano yung direction ng electric field natin? Kahit direction lang muna. Pero let me, let's, ay, sige, go. Ay, uh, pagbaba po ba? Okay, sige. Bakit pababa, mo? Kasi positive po yung nakasabi, tapos magiging negative po yung page sa baba. Ano mag Sorry, magiging negative yung? Or magiging ng negative uh, part yung positive charge na nakasabi sa page na nakababa. Okay, tama. That's one thing. And ito siguro, um... Yes, um, halata naman. Kasi, um, una-una, kitang-kita from the drawing naman na, kitang-kita from the drawing naman na nakahang siya, ba? Diba? And next, okay, let's discuss a bit. Uh, actually, the way to know is, uh, looking at yung, ano, uh, let's draw a free body diagram muna. Let's draw a free body diagram, ha? Uh. We have, uh, we have uh, tension pataas and a uh, weight. As of now, di pa natin alam kung saan yung direction ng electric force, di ba? Pero what can we do? We can compare kung ano yung magnitude ng tension tsaka ng weight, di ba? Ang tension is 5.18 newtons, di ba? Tama, tama, okay. Then yung weight is 0.185 times uh, 9.8 meters per second squared. So we'll have... Um, 1.813. Kung kita nyo naman dito, di ba, hindi siya gumagalaw. Naka, ano siya, fixed siya, di ba? Fixed yung charge. Tama, di ba? At rest. So, kung kitang-kita nyo sa magnitude, 5.18, 1.813 ang weight. So, saan dapat yung, saan dapat yung electric force? Pababa din, di ba? Tama. Right? Pababa rin siya. Ayan, that's, uh, this is the long way to do it, no? So, if we're going to draw the free body diagram, dapat ito. P, mg, plus electric force. Okay, sige. Ayan, that's my clue for you. Um, I want you to, ano, I want you to, uh, ayun, solve, solve nyo. Okay? Sige. I'll give you five minutes. Nag-gets ba yung explanation ko, guys? Pala? About this problem?
Okay, sige guys. Can you can you send me what you have? Let's see, huh? um, Eliza, check mo ulit. Check your calculation. Baka, baka may mali somewhere. Hmm. Ah. Point eighteen minus one point eight one three. Point three forty times twenty the negative six. Yan. Ito dapat. This one is correct. Ami. Sige, let's discuss ha, let's discuss. Uh, pero, I think you get naman. Pero, gets from the start naman, gets naman kung bakit pababa yung electric force. Gets naman yun. Sige, okay. Uh, let's start ha. Sige. Um... Sum of force equals zero. So T minus T plus T minus mg plus electric force equals zero. T minus mg equals to Fe equals to Qe. E equals T minus mg over Q. Ayan. Gets ba? Gets ba, guys? Ayan. Okay. Ayan. Sige. Here we go. Ayan, yan, yan. Sige. So, 9.902 times 10 to the 6th Newtons per coulomb downward. Sige, before we go to the before we go to the next question, um, balikan natin yung kanina sa multiple choice, no? Um, yung mga ano kanina, yung mga skinit natin kanina, no? Sige, wait. Um, nasaan na ba yun? Okay, here. Um, number number six, number seven. Sige, number 7 muna. Um, okay. Diba, ang um, potential energy 
is equal to Q delta V. Tama? Right? Q delta V siya. Um, tapos, uh, siyempre, ito. Ang sagot, letter E. They acquired the same kinetic energy, pero opposite the sign, no? Kasi, um, ay, wait. Hindi, kasi, hindi pwede to. I mean, this, kasi scalar naman ng ano, eh, energy, no? So, you don't really care about the sign. So, dapat letter C. Both acquire the same kinetic energy. Kasi, potential energy is Q delta V. Tapos, uh, syempre, conservation of energy. They should gain the uh, same, they should gain the same kinetic energy at the end, no? Okay. Sige. Tapos na, for number 9, for number 9, tama si Mo kanina, dapat negative. Kasi, Pag nilapit natin yung, yung rod sa, sa sphere A, pupunta lahat ng positive charge sa sphere A kasi at the same time, nilayo natin yung B. So, ano? Uh, wrong. Ubitin natin. Uh, lumayo, lahat ng negative charge pumunta sa B kasi negative di charge yung rod na lumapit sa A. So, therefore, positive lang yung matitira sa A. And pag hiniwalay mo yung B, negative lang yung matitira. ba diba? Kaya negative yung sagot. Okay? Gets ba yun, guys? Yes, sir. Okay. Sige. Ngayon, let's try this. Let's try this. Sige. Let's try yung number 4. Ito, problem sa amin to sa grade 12. Kaya lang, perfect siya eh. Kaya ako naalala. Don't worry. Hindi siya mahirap. <laughs> Kaya niya yan. Problem sa amin to. Sige. Um, ito, ang important lang dito, merong initial velocity na uh, 6.5 times 10 to the 6 meters per second midway. So, ibig sabihin, meron siyang initial height na 1 cm. Pero, let me see how you're going to deal with that. Um, the potential difference is 22 volts. And the lower plate is the one at higher potential. So, ito muna ang mga tanong ko sa inyo. I want you to Answer A and B muna, no? Sige, A and B muna. A and B. In two minutes. Sige, let's go. Try natin, na, Dali lang yan. So, ito, um, ito yung culminating, no? Ito yung integration. Ito yung end result na gusto natin makita, eh, no? Um, ito yung last topic natin for electrostatics and electric potential, no? Um, motion in a uniform electric field. As, uh, ang, ang side note pala dito, the lower plate is the one at higher potential. No? So, ibig sabihin, yung lower plate, siya yung positive. No? Okay. Sige.
Okay, sige. Um, you, can you show me anything? Sige, let's go. Okay. Um ito. Okay. Hmm. Let's see, yeah. Okay, sige. Um, for letter A, di ba? Um, for letter A, wala tayo force. So, okay, okay, sige. Um, for letter A, um, sige, kasi 15 minutes na lang tayo eh. Um, for letter A, um, ganito. For letter A, Okay, okay. For letter A, uh, for letter A, um, F equals QE, di ba? QE tayo. F, type pa na. F equals QE tayo, di ba? Kaya lang, kuna tayo ng E. Pero, we know na, V equals ED. So, 
um, E equals V over D. Then, substitute dun sa F. Bakit? 2.02 meters pa rin. Kasi, uh, the electric field, ano, the electric field acts over the whole, ano, over the whole region ng plate. So, kailangan, consider pa rin yun, ano, uh, kaya 0 0.02 meters pa rin. Okay? Sige, let's give it another, let's give it another 2 minutes. Tapos, um, show me your answers for A and B. Yan. Yan, yan, yan. Tama. So, ang direction niya, nung electric force, um, ayan, um, exponent pa lang, no? Um, ang, ang, ang direction ng electric force, kasi papunta siya sa higher potential, dapat, dapat pababa rin, no? Tama? Ayan, dapat pababa rin yung direction ng electric force. As for letter B, or letter B, um, ano, di ba F equals MA? Yan. <laughs> Giveaway, no? A equals F over M. Then, the acceleration must be in the same direction as the, ano, as the, as the electric force. Siyempre, kasi ganun yung law of motion natin, di ba? Ayun. So, dapat downwards din. So, if we substitute everything, we should get the following, no? F equals 1.76 times 10 to the negative 16 newtons. A equals 1.93 times 10 to the 14 newtons. All downward siya. Ayan. Sige. Dahil we have this information, naalala nyo pa yung kinematics nyo ng grade 9? <laughs> ano guys? Uh, apa. Okay, okay. okay, sige. I want you to answer letter C to E. Madali lang dapat yan. Okay, paglabas nung, paglabas nung electron sa cathode ray tube, walang gravity. Okay? Walang, walang acceleration due to gravity dito. Tandaan nyo yun. Okay? Yan pala yung narimutan kong sabihin sa question na yan. No acceleration due to gravity. Sige. I want you to answer letter C to E given yung mga... Given yung mga, ano natin dito, given yung mga quantities natin dito, I'll give you 10 minutes for that. That will be the last problem na for our session today. Then, as an exercise or homework siguro, I want you to try yung number one. No? So, or if you have time mamaya, let's do number one. Pero sige, in 10 minutes, uh, I want you to solve letter C to E. Oh, uh, CR lang ako, guys, ha?
Oh, kamusta guys? Okay naman? Okay, sige, one more minute.
Oh, guys. Um, can you send me what you have? Okay. Good job. Um Sige, teka, halit si. Oh. Um mm, okay, sige. Um few comments lang. Um be specific with your direction, no? Um example. Um sige, letter E okay lang. But e letter D, no? At what angle of the axis is it moving as it leaves the plates? Um, specify nyo kung below the x-axis ba? Above the x-axis, di ba? Okay. Ayan. Then, um, okay, I'll comment na. Um, correct. Kasi iba, habol kayo. Habol yung iba. Okay, after after three minutes, I'll discuss before we end. Okay, sige. I'm going to discuss na. Two minutes is over. Okay, sige. For letter C, projectile motion, di ba? Um, parang projectile motion tong natitirang item. So, for letter C, wala tayong time, no? So, um, okay, dahil meron tayo 6 centimeters dito, hindi tayo mapagkukuha na natin ang time, di ba? So, ang time natin is, ano, ayan, tama, tama mo. Ayan, yan. Dapat meron na. Okay. Sige. Let's go back. Um, kailangan, meron tayong time, di ba? So, uh, time, uh, di ba, um, x equals vt, no? p equals x over v. So, this is equal to 0.06 over 6.5 times 10 to the 6th. So we'll get something around 9.23 times 10 to the negative 9. Then yung y, meron na tayo nun. Kasi meron tayong time, di ba? y equals to, dahil walang, ano, dahil, di ba, uh, dapat y na plus v i y t plus 1 half 80 square. Dahil wala ito pareho, 
I'm I'm assuming pala na I'm assuming pala na ito yung zero ko no para hindi na ako mahirapan mag uh, compute compute um tapos 1 of 80 squared so if we meron tayong acceleration kanina if we get that we'll get something around um 8.23 times 10 raised to negative 3 meters Yan lang, below, below. Below the x-axis. Ngayon, for letter D, uh, at for letter D, at what angle of the axis is it moving as it leaves the plate? So, kailangan natin yung velocity ng y over velocity ng x. At least, di ba? Tandaan natin tong time, ha? Meron na tayo niyan. So, ang um, angle natin, ano natin pababa na siya, so dapat pa... Ito yung makuha natin theta, no? So, Vy over Vx inverse tangent um, tangent negative 1 ng Vy over Vx. Itong Vy, it is, ano, uh, di ba, Vy equals V initial plus et. Wala tayo niyan, no? Wala tayo niyan. Kasi, um, sa x lang yung speed, no? So, Vi plus 80 is equal to 1.78 times 10 to the 6. So, inverse tan yan, we'll get something around 15.3 degrees, no? below the x-axis. And lastly, how far below the x-axis will it strike the fluorescent screen S? So, para um, to, hacks lang to, um, meron na tayong look at this, ha? Meron na tayo angle. Tapos ito na yung tinatanong, no? O, oh, ayan. Um, ito na yung tinatanong. <laughs> so, um, so, whatever, um, whatever yung kanina, whatever this is yung kanina, plus ito, ano to? Trigo. So, um, meron tayong 12cm. So, ito is 12.0 uh, ay 0 0.12 tangent 53. Ay 15.3. Ayan na. So, ang screen, ang, uh, ang distance below is 0 0.08 Ano ba yun? 0. Uh, 8.23 times 10 to the negative 3 plus ito, 0.12 tan 53. 15.3. We should get around 0.0411 meters below the x-axis. Okay. Ayan. Gets pa guys? Yes. Okay. Good job. So, sige. That ends our session for today. Um, ito, I'll just type something. For the next session, sa physics, we'll, ano, we'll start with, we'll, ano, we'll, uh, we'll study electric circuits. I promise you, mas madali yun kaysa dito, okay? Madali lang yun. Electric circuits na tayo. Then, after nun, um, waves and acoustics. Pero same setup pa rin. One day discussion, one day problem set tayo para mapractice natin. Okay, next. Um, bukas naman sa math, um, we'll, ano, we'll start with circles and polygons. Hindi pa tayo magtatry go next time pa yun. Then, okay, there we go. That's all. Um, then, um, for additional exercise lang, if you want, try answering problem 1, problem solving. Then, you can send to me para ipacheck. Then, you can send to me para ipacheck. Okay, yun lang, guys. Sige, maraming salamat. Bye-bye. Sige, sir. Thank you, pa. Sige, sige. Bye-bye, bye-bye. Okay na tayo, guys, ha?